Hey you guys, episode three of the uh, perfor 2009 Top Performers. Yes sir. We've got the Fairway Woods. Yes, looking forward to these. Yeah, the game improvement uh, section we're going to look at today. So most Fairway Woods you would probably say fit into something that I, I call a better player. Would you got better player with, with speed? I guess it depends on the way you deliver loft. I mean, you could be slower but deliver a ton of loft and hit fairy woods high enough, I guess. The problem with these fairy woods nowadays, with the amount of adjustability that's in them, mm. you, can, you can really cater it for both players. True. I mean, they, they, you're as likely to see Tiger Woods use that as you are that's a, good a point. 15 handicapper who plays twice a month. So the categories are getting muddled a little bit, which is fine. That's just the nature of the technology. But these, the ones we're going to do today, are the ones that you've shortlisted as uh, really good performers yeah. in the shop. And we're going to sort of outline what they do well. Exactly. Um, so we're still sticking with our slightly slower swing speed yep. uh, model. I think that's working really, really it's nicely. Great. Try to hit a three with about 225. So last time we had driver going about, what do we say, 263. Total, yes. Total. total. So we should be 235-ish here. Total. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So that would be about ideal. Um, so we've got five to test. TS2, G410, M5, Epic Flash, and F9. And F9. Yeah. Cobra okay. back in the, in the mix. Back in the mix. So why don't we start? We're going to start with TS2. TS2. Um, let's hit them, and then we can talk about sort of what, uh, what you've seen as the good characteristics of each as we go. Yeah, I mean, they, they definitely, these are, I expect this to be quite a tight test. Yeah. I, I don't expect there to be real a, a real standout performer from a mm. negative standpoint or a, or a really positive standpoint. I can see this being a real tight one. So you think the fairway wood category is closer race than drivers? I do, I do. Mm. A lot of people were excited about this year, at the start of this season, about they thought it was one of the best driver, driver years ever. It turned out to be a good driver year. I wouldn't say it was Wasn't one of the, the best. best driver years I've ever seen, <clears throat> but I did see a lot of really good performing three woods this year. Awesome. Um, yeah. Better than last year. So that's a for good sure. time to actually look at a three wood if yeah. you've got an oldie in exactly. the back. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's start with TS2. That should be about right, eh? That's nice. High hopes to this one. I think we started the year saying that this was probably the hottest fairway wood that we had tested. It was for sure. Remember we, we saw a couple in the 170s? It uh, was crazy fast. We'd never seen that before. That felt pretty good. All right, Matty, so we've got the G410. Now, it would be fair to say that if there was a category for most improved. Yeah, it's true. This would win. This would be it, eh? Yeah, because yeah. this has been a good one for us this year. Uh, we've had a great year with Ping Woods. Mm. Um, driver, fairly unstoppable. Hybrid has been a monster with, the, with those flat settings. The number of builds Mikey's done. Yeah. With tons of those and, and now there's a really compelling fair we would as well mm. the draw version is great the standard one's great and the lst is a little a little low spin monster, monster. so yeah. i think we never found we had that last year i agree with that we, yeah. we said that it was you know, fine but it wasn't yeah. it wasn't great in any category we thought it was only really good for the slower ball speeds and slower swing speeds and yep. that sort of thing so uh so this is this is good and, and i think it'll it'll show itself nicely here all right That's a good one. Sounded a little thinner, which will be really good for the. Mm -hmm. Definitely more the towards the middle. That's nice.
Okay, Matty, we have the jewel in the crown, the yeah. expensive diamond. Not cheap, is it? It's not. I mean, 500 bucks for uh, for a fair we would was a little bit of a shock to the system yeah. uh, this this year. Been a while since we've seen we've seen 399 commonly here in the Canadian market. For sure, yeah. But five, 499, 500 bucks was was quite a lot to see, but. They're they're packing a lot into that a titanium yeah, like, fairy wood with that amount of weight and trying to add in you know that much movable weight and a flight control sleeve with a titanium head that's not yeah. easy. I mean it should be one that lasts you if you want to if it fits you well and you you invest in it. Sixty five grams moving either draw neutral or fade. It's a ton. It's a lot. Plus that's not even taking into account that you can do the loft sleeve. Yeah. So, so I mean if you look at most weights, call it the the ping the Callaway, the Titleist, we're talking about moving eight to 14 grams around the head. With the technology. We're talking yes. about 65 grams. It's crazy. And that's moving it toe to heel. Yep. Um, so, I mean, you can see the engineering challenge of, of how, you know, what they've had to do to, to make, that, make that work. And titanium's more expensive, I'm assuming, and Correct. carbon crown is not gonna be exactly. cheap to make either. Exactly, so they, they have to offset an awful lot of weight to make this work, so. Okay. Well, I'm curious to see how forgiving it is. That's probably the one thing I would wonder, is it kind of as forgiving as the other ones we've hit? I think you find it is. That's a good one. Yep, that's the one. That's really good. That is a perfect door. This is pretty good, good so far. Yeah. Having an easier time hitting it. Okay, uh, I would say that was a little bit of a surprise yeah. in terms of the, the results and, and what, what ones were easier. There was, there was two that were significantly easier to get results with or get, you know, good ball flights with and that was uh, yeah, the yeah. epic flash yes and the f9 f9 both of those i found i think just you would just call it they're easy to hit i think they're two clubs that you'd pick up drop a ball on the range and you'd find you could elevate you know the shots pretty easily without having to work too hard yeah and looking at the height obviously you know on the trajectory view it was higher but obviously the face was a little more open mm -hmm. to achieve that that makes sense but i think the overall balance of the flash was was the best i agree that was probably the best Easiest to hit, for sure, mm -hmm. and I think the results were the most consistent. I hit lots of good ones with the F9, but I think the Epic Flash just kind of seemed a little bit more automatic. Mm. There was a big dispersion difference when we went to the, the ping. Yep. We struggled a bit with that one. We, we yep. were kind of leaking them left and right, and uh, just weren't able to quite get a handle on that one. Yeah, once you've got, I guess once we caught good strikes, the numbers basically look exactly the same. But it's the you know the number of shots yeah. needed to get a good one was was, was different. Was significantly different. And uh, for me, I think the way I was swinging for this test, I just think the flatter lie was probably the culprit that made it a little bit harder for me to, mm. to hit. But interesting. M um, five, you felt like that was the quickest. So Definitely. We, if we go to efficiency, that one was... Yeah, it's up there, wasn't it? Now, we, we're kind of debating there whether there's a little bit of a difference in how it reads the head mm -hmm. um, because you didn't feel like you were any slower? I didn't feel like I was swinging slower. Yeah, because if you look at the rest of them, they're all 98, 99. It, would, all be a right bit, it would be a bit odd that I all of a sudden yeah. swung. And I have seen that yeah, from that drivers, shape right? of head. And, um, so. so we maybe don't read too much into that. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I did hit some of my longest shots with the M5. Yeah. I think it just, for launch and spin, um, it's probably the lower launching, mm -hmm. uh, lower spinning of the bunch. Yeah. Um, so it kind of produced some of the longer hits, but wasn't the easiest one to hit, that's for sure. It wasn't the most forgiving. Yeah, it was, it was good. I mean, the ball flight was good. It was, it was pretty quick. It was, you, you thought it was 
very flat and almost a little harder to elevate it. It wasn't the easiest to get up in the air, Let's that's for sure. see if that showed up. Yeah, because I was watching your angle attack and it was fluctuating a little bit shallow as you tried to launch oh, it. And there's okay. your, look at your dynamic loft. Yeah, so three degrees, I mean, that, that makes sense. Three degrees it at, does. at impact is it a lot. It does, it does. Okay, so overall, we're definitely leaning towards flash was, was the one. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, yep. For you in that test. Launch and spin and ball speed and everything, there was yep. really, it had no weaknesses. It will be, I, I would be shocked if it wasn't the easiest for someone mm -hmm. to hit. Um, I would say honorable mention would go to F9 in that case too. F9 was almost as easy to, to strike. Yeah. Um, but flash would be, yeah, well, that would be my pick mm -hmm. at, that, at that level. Yeah. I think, uh, I think F9 is a real sleeper. And we mm. found that a few weeks ago testing it against the, the deep headed Callaway. That's right, yeah, yeah. Uh, three deep. Yep. Um, you, you hit that one very well, very easily. Um, Flash, obviously good. M5 is great. Lots of adjustability, lots of tech, like we said. But mm -hmm. the, one, the one downside is, is someone going to be able to stomach the price point? It is not going to be yep. easy. That's not, true. Not cheap. TS2 performed great. TS2 was good. I think really TS2 good. was a very good overall performer. It, yep. I mean, really, if you look at the numbers, none of them really lacked in numbers. They were all launch and spin and ball speed were, were within you know a couple percent mm -hmm. of each other. Um, and TS2 was pretty easy to hit as well. Yeah. I do think that it was just... Nice and straight, wasn't it? Was very it? straight, yeah. Good launch, good spin, nice and straight. Hard to, hard to really say anything bad about that one. We really like, as we said, keep saying it, we really like those fairy woods. No, for sure. Um, the adjustability is nice the way you can, you can do lie and loft mm, and everything. Yeah. I, I really think this has, be, this has been a real strong fairy wood for us all year. The Sub-Zero yeah. is another great option. Um, and I found the Sub Zero was pretty much as easy to hit as this. Oh, it yeah. just flies flatter. Yeah. Like the head shape and the, the depth of the face, they're basically the same. Well, you can really engineer a different ball flight with that Sub Zero. You oh, yeah. pop that weight up to the front, you open the head slightly, and you can, you can turn that something. thing into a little two wood very quickly. And that's what we did when we first tested that's it. That's right. It was the longest fairway yeah, that we had. It was really, really quick. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I just feel like. I feel like Callaway have had the formula for a fast fairy wood for quite a while now. I agree with that. Since the original X Hot, yeah. um, they've had a real, really quick, quick uh, design formula. Definitely. Um, we'll probably dive into the, the kind of players higher speed category next That's time right, and yeah. look at some more uh, some more options like the LS Tech G410 mm. and um, Sub Zero some and other. And you know, it might actually be interesting. Some of these might we might hit in both categories. Yeah, I, I think you could hit, hit this. Yeah, again, I can see I us doing that, and probably hit this too. We had that turned up from fourteen five, which is the standard loft, turned up one degree to fifteen five. Okay. Because of the swing speed that we're doing this test at, yep. it just doesn't make sense to do this test at um, you know with fourteen and a half no. degrees of loft for no. most people, guys. That that's that tends to unless you're a little bit of a scooper mm -hmm. or you're a little bit across it. Going with that little loft is going to be counterproductive with a fairway wood. Agreed. You're going to want more more loft in your hands. Very true. And so this at standard loft straightens the face angle, yes. but it's not yeah. like it's a high spin, high launch. It'll it'll be good yeah. at, at that speed as well. Yeah. So okay, all right, much more to come. Yeah. Uh, we're only really getting started with this end of year test, and I think we're going to get some real good results. Definitely. Uh, by the time we're all said and done. Sounds good. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.